Hello guys and welcome back Hello. to the stocking filler gift guide. As per usual, Do you I'm not get ready for the jingle. No, that's in the vlogs. Oh. There is a jingle though. We hope you enjoyed the jingle. Oh, I really hope you did. <laughs> you can see how long it's been since I've done this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, as per usual, I'm joined by this buffoon for the shop stocking, the shopping stocking, for the stocking filler gift guide. Stocking shopping stocking. We've both got. Stocking? I can't even remember. I think it's like seven Some or eight, eight things gifts. to show you. Maybe I've even more. I've just got a sausage on that's appeared. I'm piggy. I'm gonna start because I think I've got one more thing. Get Piggy in here. She wants. Okay. To Piggy wants to come in to say hello. Um, so in case you don't know about our stocking filler gift guide, everything is under twenty pounds. For him, for her, well, whoever piggies. you want to buy them for, for Piggies, and you stink well. And let's get started. So the first thing that I found this year. Do you like the smell of this pig? Mm. Oh yes. This is quite um, good. These are really interesting. They're by a brand called Miss Patisserie, and they're like bath bombs, but for your shower. So they're called shower steamers. You put mm. them in the bottom of your shower when you're having a shower, and they like disintegrate and, and aromatize, waft around your shower, and it like is a steamy experience. Fantastic. Not in that sense, but you know, in the actual physical steam. You never experience. know. Depends what kind of a morning you're smell. having. Really good. I used one the other day and I really enjoyed it. I feel like it's an opportunity for those who don't like baths to get involved on the whole like luxury bathing thing. Love the vegan um, as well. Love that. Yeah, vegan. And I think you split them in half. No piggies were Very harmed nice. in the making of those. No piggies were right, harmed. Right, I'm going to have to put you over to Okay, you. I'll take it. Are we just going to... Pass the pig. Pass the piglet. Right, I am... Oh. Oh Piggy, no. Piggy, I'll Piggy. blame you for that. She just knocked it out. Right, I am starting with a book. And this book is the ultimate guide to creating the perfection between two slices of bread. It's what a, a great title. Mike doesn't Max's even know what this book sandwich is. sandwich book. It's a book about making sandwiches. So this was a recommendation from a very good friend of ours who like met Max room. in his sandwich shop and bought the book and said, actually, it's a really, really good book. Good book. Um, surprisingly good. How good do you think a book all about sandwiches could be? I, mean, I love well, sandwiches. Well, apparently, I have them every day. it's amazing. Except when I have soup, but other than that, I have sandwiches. Quite do you? Often. Vegan sandwiches are difficult. I'm not entirely mm. sure what Piggy's doing, but here we go. Okay. She's coming maybe, back. Maybe to I'm going to. I'm going to put her on the bed yeah. so that you she's not there. I'm oh, losing everything. Oh, it's all going put wrong. Big, put Piggy, Piggy back there. Piggy, you you're retiring. Retiring to the blanket. There you go. Yeah. Behave you yourself. go and make yourself comfortable back there. Um, my next thing is also a cookbook. We've gone quite cookbook heavy this year. We've got three cookbooks in this gift guide. But I feel like cookbooks are very good stocking fillers. Um, my choice, <laughs> right in the middle of the bed, is Ottolenghi Test Kitchen. Now, not only does this book look sexy, I love the way this book looks. I mean, Ottolenghi cookbooks are incredible, recipes are incredible. And I picked this up and had a flick through it and was like, want to cook that, want to cook that, want to cook that, which very, very rarely happens with cookbooks for me. Um, I'm a big fan of Ossolenghi's previous cookbooks, and this one looks no different. It looked like it all looks bloody delicious. Look at that, yum. I want to eat all of it, basically. So that would be a good mm. recommendation, I think, for a stocking filler. I quite like that. Right, next one that I have gone for is the roasting tin. Around the world. Around the world. Because... Every day, well, every day, every week, you have a Sunday, and what happens on Sunday? It's you the roast. day to no, roast. So, no, but and my point I, is this. No, yeah, but what, was it? what I love is dishes that are one tin dishes. Super easy, super delicious, and really good to cook. I mean, that does got chicken in it, so, so should replace it with some kind of vegetables. So this is but... by Rak Rukmini Ia. Ia? not very good at pronouncing her name, but I follow her on Instagram actually. Um, she has done a series of these books. Mm. I don't, I think we've only got the green one, which we is the vegetarian yes. one, which we use a lot and yes. we are big fans of it. This is her newest one, which is inspired by recipes from around the world. Yeah, so a really good book that I think would solve maybe even the most fussiest of roast dinner people on a Christmas I just think it's, it's just really nice. It's Solid. not for Christmas. Like it's not for Christmas food. It's like, it's easy one tray. It's like tray bake cooking. But maybe you want. And it really that. appeals to day me, after like, the Christmas. concept of the next it. Day, day after Christmas, very good. Boxing Day, treat. Mike talks such rubbish. So my next 
um, stocking filler recommendation is actually a jam and I know that sounds super Ooh. lame but I would love to get this in my stocking at Christmas I don't have it to show you you know why because you finished it off I was like oh, I don't need to buy a new one because there's a little bit left that I can put in the video Oopsie. no it is the most honestly the most delicious jam I've ever tasted in my entire life it's Dalesford sour cherry and amaretto jam it will change your life if you like cherries sweet baby jesus you need this i mean to be stocking. fair even though on a little bit of a pricey point there manukani it's, it's not, also no, no the manukani is like 40 quid yes, and it's outra no, outrageously no i just disagree good. but this is the cherry fantastic. jam is 4.99 pricey bargain, for a jam bargain worth it worth every jammy penny that it you is, spend it is so delicious so good i ate next? it all I, and <laughs> exactly. at this point i would also say something that i would quite like for christmas for your salty affairs, truffly salt. I mean, who doesn't love slathering their food in, in salt? In truffle. In truffle and salt. salt. You can literally oh. smell the truffle. Imagine, the truffle imagine salt. some homemade fries with this oh, bad bottle over it. Would it. Dip. With a lovely little really bit of homemade good. mayonnaise. Oh. It would be really good. I've got Naughty. Another, I've got another book recommendation oh, for you now. You go wild. Um, and I actually really like the concept of this. This is a poem for every night of the year. You know why? I never get time to read like I used to. Basically, I fall asleep because I'm so tired from looking after Riv and just... Being general mother of the year. Just, oh, thanks. Um, being a terrible parent, I just get exhausted and I fall asleep within like five minutes of reading a book. However, I love the idea of having a poem to read every day and they're actually dated so you can go through the whole year and read... What happens Some if you poetry. miss one? You've got to then like... Go yeah, back. you could go back to it. Hmm. But I just like really love the concept of this and I also love the cover. I think it's so pretty and would make such a nice gift as a stocking filler or just a smaller gift for a friend. Well, seeing as though we're all back travelling again, I've gone for a bit of a travel number now. A don't, know, don't take that as gospel. We're, we're recording planet. this at least two weeks before it goes live, so... Yeah, to be fair, you might, we might be, be banned. We no, might we be banned. No, 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 it'll be fine. Um, epic bike rides around the world. I mean, I am a very avid cyclist, definitely a COVID um, activity, activity. Picked up. but look at that. Imagine pootling along on a bike to that, even if you're doing pootling. five miles an hour. Imagine pootling along mm. anywhere. But um, I, to me, like I, I rode to Paris this year and it was one of the funnest things I have done for a long time with some cool people that having epic adventures around Europe on your bike. Our friends went travelling around Europe. This is the world version. They have the a Europe world. version. The world. So many ideas that I feel so like. Yeah, you're not you doing any of those. No, you come, absolutely if you not. A little, little, like, uh... You just keep that in the book and you can look at the pictures. No, but what, what if we got it. like a tandem bike and we like went together, put a little like, sort of like um, trailer on the back river? Maybe even put Piggy in the trailer? Maybe Piggy. <laughs> um, my next one is a chocolate option. I feel like I included some of these last year and they were maybe like gin and tonic ones. It doesn't surprise me. Gingerbread truffles ooh, ooh, from, cheeky. I never know how to say this brand, Charbonnel and Walker, or is it Carbonel? I don't know. Anyway, they're French. done a better French. job than me. I'm not very good at the pronunciation, but. Oh, they are pretty naughty. Sweet baby Jesus. Do you want to eat one? That's the second time I've said that. Mm. Oh my God, they look so good. I was going to save these for my mum's stocking, but. Save them. I might eat them. I really want to eat them. Right, you can My get this My next thing. one, Choice. I'm not going to save because I've already started on this one. Um, so this is Heyman's of London's Small Gin. And as you notice from the bottle, it's rather it's teeny very tiny. tiny. Um, but what is amazing is this is actually a concentrated gin. So it's a little bit stronger than normal. No, it's the same strength oh, as is normal. Oh, really? I didn't know that. It, in terms of alcohol, it's the yeah. same strength as but normal. It's like but the flavour is stronger than Sorry, normal. Sorry, so it comes with a little... Thumble, thimble, 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 thumble, thimble, um, which is all you need is a little five mil uh, for your gin, and it is so flavoursome with a really even just like a standard tonic, and this it, it tastes like it's just oh it's just exquisite. yeah it tastes really nice, and it means that you're only getting like one quarter of the amount of yeah. alcohol. So if you're not wanting to drink. Or if you're the designated driver and you don't want to have a drink, you yeah, can have one of these. Absolutely. Not saying drink driving, like disclaimer, but like you literally have a thimbleful and it tastes like a gin and tonic, yeah. but you're having a tiny. It's like having a shandy gin and tonic. Just saying. <laughs> like a, um, like a 
a little yeah. like, well, but it is, I, it is like, really you know good. why i like this is because the non-alcoholic ones i haven't found a non-alcoholic one that i like yet mm. i feel like they might be out there i've only tried a couple to me but they just, just have kind just of, tonic they're kind of like cordial yeah mm. so far the ones i've tried are like cordial whereas this is kind of like that it has a tiny bit of alcohol in it but it gives you that like gin but it's got a bit flavor. of character about it the fact it comes with i like it it's super cute and a good stocking filler as well because it is tiny awesome. and, and really flavors my next one is a jigsaw puzzle i got so into jigsaw puzzles last christmas i was loving it and i actually did this one the other day because it arrived and river was there and was like oh, mommy can we do the game can we do it i actually did it and i had a really enjoyable hour putting this together um it's 90s icons 500 piece jigsaw so puzzle. Many epic so pieces. many epic, I mean, Beanie Babies. I mean, Rachel from Friends, Game Princess Boy. Diana, Game Boy, Janet Jackson, Buffy, Kurt Cobain, Buffy. Tamagotchi, Pogs, I mean, Rollerblades, Dawson's Creek, Jerry so Halliwell. Good. I thought that was Michael Jackson, but I actually don't think no, it is. I don't think it's it is. the nanny? Who's the nanny? Not sure, don't remember that one. Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Mrs. Doubtfire, T Rex, <gasps> Baby G. She went to Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah, I had one of those. I had a white one. It was so cool. I loved it. My, I actually really loved that. I think I had it for like my 11th birthday. But this would be fun. And it is fun. I can, I can tell you it's vouch fun. I did funness. it. Um, I vouch for that. This next one, I didn't actually pick. And Fleur's just handed it to me. And I'm a little concerned as to why you'd want to hand this to me. But this a is... A lot of people like... A lot of my male friends like this. Sure. Um, this is, how do you pronounce this, get it wrong? Aesop. Aesop, I was definitely not going to say, I was going to say Aesop. Um, so, this is Aesop's post poo drops. Yeah. So I after mean, you do a stinky poo, you put a few drops in the toilet and, and it does, smell. and it means that you don't leave a, a ling turdy, lingering turdy smell in the toilet. Which is, I mean, what's wrong with a so good if you bit share of, a like, bathroom, bit of fragrance in the air. Which a lot of people do over the festive period, more people in the house. Could be a heck of a lot of drops going on. Yeah, could be handy. Um, my next one, this is for you, Piggy. Piggy, is she still there? She's Peppy. still there, she's... Hello? Cuddle in the corner. She's, she's basically snoozing. Um, I, I was like, what is that smell? It's beer. You got yourself a beer, you didn't get me a drink, did you? <laughs> Sucks to you. Um, Cross-stitch dog collar. Now, bear with me on this. This is like my equivalent of you doing Lego at Christmas, right? You know, you have a new Lego every Christmas, Mike's tradition. Um, Cross-stitch dog collar, I'm going to do this. Over Christmas for Piggy. Well, you cute. go wild. Super cute. I love it. Right. So my next one is not a beer. Um, unfortunately, we don't have it physically with us right no, this second. No, because so I thought we had some. Magic, and then we don't actually drunk to, them all. We only drunk them all. But if I'm magic, it's just going to appear on the screen right ding, now. Ding. Um, and this one is called. What is it? Neo. Mike's got the list. Neo. Neo um, cocktails. Cocktails. I couldn't remember. Sorry, but they're super delicious, super quick postal delivery cocktails. Yeah. So they come like flat. Mm. So they deliver them in like a flat pack, and they start at three for twenty pounds, like pre-mixed cocktails. They are pricey for what they are, but you can get like espresso martinis, cosmopolitans. They are very strong. So they're like the non-mix, so like proper old oh, school feisty. cocktails. The espresso martini one, particularly good for Christmas as well. Keep there it going go. on Christmas. My next one is actually some decorative dishes. This seems so decorative. This seems very random, but these are from Graham and Green, which is an interiors website that I absolutely love. And I think these are such good value for money. So I think they're actually two different prices. This one I believe is twelve pounds and this one is sixteen or something like that. But they're really, really pretty and I think they'd be nice, you know, for putting some nuts in either for the festive period, maybe some chocolates, maybe some Hazelnuts. You could keep your jewellery in that, whatever you want to put, hazelnuts, walnuts, Brazil nuts, any kind of nuts. I'm not um, going to go any further. <laughs> not those nuts. Um, so, yeah, I, really, I just really like them. Nice and decorative. Nice yeah. and decorative. What else have you got? So, else? I'm finishing. This is my last one. And This is re this is niche, but bear with us because it's bear good. With us. Well, you say bear with us, but I actually think, so for a bloke, I'm just going to put this down. So, for a bloke, I actually think this is a really good thing. And what I'm putting on it is, I'm putting it on my hand. Ooh. So this oh, is a oh, mitt. Really... Unfortunately, Fleur didn't let me have both I think both we need mitts. some new ones, because ours are getting a bit gross. So basically, I've had these for years, and they're amazing. So these are like fire um, retard... retardant, retardant um, gloves. So they're basically not heat-proof. They're amazing for like um, barbecuing, for getting stuff out of the oven, for just you gently rubbing them, your no, face. You don't touch my face with them. Disgusting. Uh, you, <laughs> we actually bought them for the pizza oven, didn't we? Yes. 
and but they're amazing for barbecue. We actually we use them every day. And because you can in get your little fingers in them to get those things yeah. out the back of the oven. Yeah, they're really they're, good. They are actually really good, and they're about ten quid from Amazon. It's an so if you know someone who's really into loves a good chefing or barbecuing, chefing. Um, but they get two gloves, not just one. Yeah. My next and last one is this the final this one? Is it, that's it. Wow, this has gone quick. Which makes a change hanging out with you. Normally it goes slowly. These are crackers, but they're fragrance crackers and they come in a set of three. They're from a brand called Shea and Blue, who I've spoken about a couple of times in the past, but not for a while. Their fragrances are lovely. And these are three for £25 and inside you get a 10 mil spray it's quite fragrance. a large fragrance. It is a large fragrance. And I tell you what, this blood orange one. Does it have a crack oh in the God. cracker? It's so, I don't think it does, that's the only problem. Oh. But send it back as a gift. Oh my god, it smells Ooh, so good! Nice. It's so nice, isn't it? It's, it's very um, I love refreshing. it. Super refreshing. That's blood so orange. Refreshing. Um, but they're really nice. You can split them up and give them as smaller gifts for friends, or if you're doing stockings for numerous people in your family. Tell you I what, I think they're all technically female orientated scents, but I feel like you know whatever floats your boat. Fleur, do you know what? You I'm finish. You finish with an absolute cracker. <laughs> You are so... Mike has been preparing his whole life to do dad jokes oh, and dad dancing. So good and now you're that. actually a dad. It's like... Oh, that one? No, I feel like a boy could wear that one. Mm, it's on the edge. Nice. I like it. Anyway, nice. hope you guys enjoyed this. If you fancy coming back for the kids gift guide, we also have lots of other gift guides that have gone up before this for her, luxury for her, for him, beauty, all of that jazz. Um, you can head over to my channel and watch the rest of them. As per usual, if you've been here for a few years, you'll know the drill. We're also doing massive giveaways over on my Instagram, so if you want to win some really cool stuff, head over there, and we'll see you soon. Bye!